Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Data3 session for Streamlined Operations and Empower Employees in the Modern Workplace. Uh, welcome to the first session of our series, uh, which is the Surface Portfolio. I begin today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather individually today. I also acknowledge the Jagarat and Turrbal peoples of modern day Brisbane in which our head office is located. I pay my respects to their elders past and present. I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. You've joined us for the first of a series of five sessions which are going to talk about all things surface. Uh, the first session today is obviously the surface portfolio, but there's also another four sessions upcoming. There's one on modern management, there's one on security, there's a collaboration session, and then also devices as a service. So if you haven't registered for any of those other sessions, please scan that uh, little code, QR code in the top right hand corner and register for those other sessions as well as we're going to have some great subject matter experts who are very deep domain experts in each of those areas who um, are really going to present a lot of value. So strongly encourage you to register for those other sessions as well uh, across the event series. Today I'm joined by the fabulous Surface team from Data3. So we, we have Sam White, the team leader, who looks after New South Wales and ACT. We have Angelo, who looks after WASA and TAS. And then we've also got Mia, who looks after our Queensland business. So uh, these this team is, is um, uh, subject matter experts on Surface uh, and will be uh, doing the presentation today. At the end of this session, we're going to have a mini quiz. Um, and if you're the first person to answer the mini quiz correctly at the end of the session, uh, you can win this newly released Surface accessory value at only $500. So please uh, stay to the end. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for that uh, mini quiz and you can be the, the lucky winner of that, uh, that fabulous device. In terms of the agenda for today, We've, the uh, the content is going to be firstly around Surface for Business, you know, where have we come from and where we are now, uh, and Sam's going to deliver that section. Angelo is then going to talk to new products and also an emerging and, and becoming very important area around sustainability um, and how Surface can help from an ESG perspective. Um, we've also got a section on repairability and warranty and then also uh, service accessories and summary at the end and the quiz will be at the very end of that presentation as well. So um, without any further delay, I'm going to hand over to Sam and who's going to talk to Surface for Business. Sam, over to you. Thanks, Scott. All right. Morning everyone, so my name's Sam and let's take a look at Surface for Business. So today a modern device strategy is essential for your workforce and a win for your business. Modern devices create better, more efficient modern workplaces. They create a flexible work environment that energizes both for those who rely on your technology and those who manage it. They enhance productivity, creativity and innovation by reducing friction in workflows and they retain your talent, giving your employees the best of both worlds. Devices that make work from anywhere a great experience are at the centre of a successful transition to hybrid work. The Surface range encompasses several product lines that are differentiated to meet the specific needs of individuals and workforces and teams. They are also unified, so users are seamlessly connected across devices to a core set of experiences. When you are committing to Surface for your business, you are committing to a familiar set of experiences through devices made with premium materials that have been designed for the future of work. So in June of 2020, Microsoft commissioned Forrester Consulting to conduct a study maximizing your ROI from Microsoft 365 Enterprise with Microsoft Surface. These are the results of that study. In another study commissioned from 2021, understanding the role of modernized PCs in hybrid work environments, 70% of leaders said that their companies needed PC improvements to support hybrid work. 73% of employees would stay at their current company if they had flexible remote work options. And nearly 40% of technology decision makers said that improving PCs, laptops and device management was a top employee request for supporting a better hybrid work environment. So this year, we're actually celebrating 10 years of Surface. Some of you may even recall the very first pro, the Surface RT retail model. We've achieved so much in the last 10 years. 
and Surface was designed to bring together the best of Microsoft to empower businesses of all sizes. The journey began with a bold vision for a new form factor and a belief that you shouldn't have to choose between versatility and performance. Today, Surface is helping companies embrace a new era of work, a flexible working model that gives their people the freedom to work their way from anywhere while ensuring devices are secure, efficient and more easily managed. So as you can see on the screen here, the Surface family of devices is growing. With several choices across three main categories, we have a Surface to suit every role. Angelo will shortly update you on the new Pro 9 in the tablet range, the hotly anticipated Laptop 5 from the clamshell category, uh, right through to the new Studio 2 Plus. The Surface portfolio offers confidence to ensure every employee can perform their best, whether they're working from home, heading into the office, or just visiting a client. The range empowers team members to meet and collaborate seamlessly with high quality audio and video, giving everybody a seat at the table. And each device is protected from chip to cloud, giving you secure control from anywhere right down to the firmware layer. This gives employees the freedom to work securely from anywhere and IT teams the capabilities to make it happen without the headache. Let's quickly recap what else was added to the Surface portfolio already this year? We have the laptop studio with its multi form factor, putting a flip uh, on the old Surface book range. The laptop go to, which has an improved HD camera, longer battery life, and increased processing power on the first generation. And most recently, the Surface SE Chromebook for our education customers. The laptop SE does not compromise on that premium Surface device look and feel, despite its tiny price tag. Thank you, and I'll now hand you over to Angelo to take you through the newest Surface products. Great, thank you, Sam. So. so thanks, Sam. It's great to see how far we've come in the past 10 years um, and how Microsoft Surface brand has evolved. Now let's have a look at some of the new releases that they've had. So first of all, we've got the Surface Pro, which is their, oops, let's go back. The Surface Pro 9 for business. It uh, comes with the 12th generation Intel Core uh, processor built on an Evo platform. Now the CPU has been designed specifically for mobile computing, like the Surface Pro 9. Uh, this ensures that it has an instant weight, which is under a second, a longer battery life, with which on the Surface Pro 9 is 15.5 hours, fast charging, guarantees um, fast connectivity through Wi-Fi 6E, Gigabit Plus, and Thunderbolt 4, which will allow you to drive up to two 4K displays at 60 hertz. Also, by adding a signature keyboard, this will transform the Surface Pro to an everyday, everywhere, everywhere laptop. Surface Secure Core PC with um, hardware TPM will offer users extra security protecting down to the firmware level with hardware security features that shield users' credentials and other critical data. And what's exciting to announce is now serviceability. Microsoft, the Surface Pro 9, offers major components like display, battery, uh, thermal modules, cameras, speakers, can now all be replaced and by a skilled technician on site. And now to complement um, and add a complete mobile solution, we have the Surface Pro 9 with 5G. The Surface Pro 9 with 5G, it replaces the Pro X, uh, which was in its only available in Platinum, it has the same form factor as the Pro 9. Powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon Microsoft's new SQ3 chip, it's 80% faster than the previous outgoing Pro X model, which had the SQ2 processor. The NPU, which is the neural processing unit, will allow you to take video calls to the next level with Windows Studio effects. And this includes voice focus, which cuts out background noise, uh, background blur, eye contact and automatic framing. So allowing the speaker or the presenter to move around and still be in focus. 
Essentially, the NPU manages all these core features and takes away the workload from the CPU. 5G now provides even faster and more reliable speeds than the previous 4, 4G LTE. Allowing, and you'll also notice on the image um, along the perimeter, there are nano molded antenna slots, which will give you better reception. Also, the all day battery life gives you up to 19 hours. And finally, with the Pluton architecture, this secures sensitive data direct on the CPU that makes it more difficult for attackers to access, even if they have the physical device with them. Now we move on to the Laptop 5. So the Laptop 5, similarly to the Pro 9, uh, also has a 12th generation Intel Core processors in i5 and i7 with the added feature of longer battery life, um, which we'll go over in a second, and also now with Thunderbolt 4, which is something that our uh, clients were looking for, allowing you to drive two 4K displays at 60 hertz. You have a choice between 13.5 inch screen size and a 15 inch display uh, available in the platinum finish with an Alcantara keyboard or platinum platinum, full platinum finish and the black metal. With the battery life, you've got 17 hours on a 15 inch screen and up to 18 hours on a 13.5 inch screen, which gives you pretty much all day battery life. The users will be able to have um, clear, will be able to hear clearly all um, any online or through music using the Omnisonic uh, speakers that are built in. And it's also built in a two far field studio mics will be able to capture your voice regardless of where you are facing on the laptop. Again, one little point I want to cover, uh, which is included with this is serviceability. There are, and we'll go over this in further detail uh, further on. We've got uh, SSD motherboard, battery, charging port, thermal modules, and the feet can all be serviced on site by a skilled technician. Here we have the, the Studio 2 Plus. Now with the Studio 2 Plus, um, this has been upgraded to the 11th generation Intel Core i7 processor with a 28 screen, inch screen, uh, you'll be able to maximize productivity. By having the 3.2 aspect ratio, you can basically emulate four screens at 14 inch uh, sizes on your one device. With regards to connectivity, the Studio 2 now comes with three USB-C ports, which are Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 4 enabled um, and essentially allowing you to run up to three 4K screens at 60 Hertz, uh, two USB-A ports, a uh, headphone jack and an Ethernet port. Now also upgraded on this device is the NVIDIA GeForce graphics card. So it's now got a RTX 3060 GPU, um, with a late, which will be able to run the latest uh, ray tracing cords and Tesla cores. Basically designed for engineers and architects or graphic designers um, looking at doing real time rendering and they'll be able to do this with a breeze. The dual uh, studio mics will also help you capture uh, your voice clearly. So regardless of where you are in your workspace, you'll be heard well. And here we have um, an overview of the four devices that I've just gone over. Um, you'll see at the bottom, there's the config options that have been available to us, uh, made available to us. And with regards to availability, we're looking at the Pro 9 estimate. We're looking at estimates of stock coming in early November with the laptop five, sorry. And that with the Pro 9, that also includes the 5G. With the laptop five, um, we're looking at later in October. So in a couple of weeks, we'll start seeing stock rolling through. And with the Studio 2 Plus, estimated early November. Um, you'll also notice that the Studio 2 Plus only comes in the one config. So now I wanna move over to, to sustainability, um, which is something that Microsoft is uh, focused on heavily as well. So this is a very powerful statement. Um, Surface is becoming more recyclable every year. The materials used and the ease of disassembling makes the current Surface laptop 91% recyclable. Microsoft is moving towards having every Surface device 100% recyclable by 2030. Now that's key here. Um, 
for those of you that are taking notes. Um, so there's less than a decade to go to get to 2030. And that's why Surface uh, team are aiming to get these devices uh, reduce and uh, devices reduce their carbon footprint um, and reduce uh, waste and recyclability to be increased. Microsoft has some ambitious goals uh, when it comes to sustainability. By 2030, they're looking at having uh, carbon negative and 100% recyclable devices and packaging. And by 2050, they're looking at um, they'll remove uh, from the, the planet the amount of carbon that they've actually put in since the company was first founded. So that's another pretty big date for them. So what have they done? Learning from their customers. Uh, not only the device, but Microsoft is also working with commercial packaging. Um, some of our commercial customers let Microsoft know directly that they were unhappy with the amount of packaging around their new Surface device. It was actually an Australian company that reached out to them, sent them photos of all the waste that was left over in their loading dock um, and what their IT team had to do to get rid of it or dispose of it. So what they're doing now is new packaging, um, commercial packaging portfolio is made up to 70% of recyclable materials. Overall, uh, new packaging procedures uh, produces over 48% fewer emissions, and it's also 30% lighter in weight and volume, which um, allows you to break down into flat pack uh, for easier disposal and recycling. I'll just move on to the next slide. Sorry if I can uh, get to it. So Microsoft Surface devices are integral to achieving the company's commitment to carbon negative to a carbon negative company. To achieve this, they are improving um, efficiencies in their operations, devices, software, and supply chain. They are also delivering technology to help customers measure and manage their carbon emissions more effectively. Integrity is important to Microsoft and they are building products that are of the highest quality with reasonable supply chain that meets ethical and environmental standards. The take, make and waste model of all the electronics uh, of all electronics is no longer viable. That's why Microsoft is looking at a more circular economy in mind and following a reduce, reuse and recover model. Design for circularity minimizes the waste and extends the lifespan of the devices as long as possible. This will allow you to part. Um, I will now, sorry, I will now pass on to our guest speaker, um, Susan Mati, who is joining us to go over uh, repairability and warranty. Susan has um, is a business program manager at Microsoft, handling uh, warranty and protection plans and services. Thanks, Angelo. Good morning, everybody. Um, yes, as Angelo said, um, I'm very focused at Microsoft on understanding what are the warranty and protection plans that our commercial customers need to protect their investment in Surface devices and how can we extend the servicing options to meet the needs of our customers? Um, uh, what uh, the slide that um, me is showing you now, um, the, our, our new Surface Laptop 5 and Surface Pro 9 devices have been designed to be fully repairable in the field by our um, approved service providers. And this is enabling us to add servicing options to the portfolio to extend the life of our devices and support our customers' needs also or their initiatives um, around sustainability. Um, next slide. Thanks, Mia. And you'll see um, this slide is showing, if you have a look at the columns that are asterisk, this, this um, um, slide is showing those new devices, Surface Pro 9 and Surface Laptop 5, just so that you can see um, that they are in fact fully repairable now. Um, and this is just showing the evolution of our, of our roadmap um, as we've moved to this pivotal point um, and th that's enabling us to add these new servicing options. And as I said, we're committed to delivering 
new options for our commercial customers, and in particular um, for our business customers, providing options that match the premium experience that they have with our devices. And to that end, we're, we're really, um, sorry, back one there. <laughs> um, we're excited uh, to, to, to um, have announced to market that we have two new offers in Australia and they're both next business day offers. The first is a next business day replacement. So this is um, aligned to our existing exchange model of whole unit replacements. And the second one is next business day on site repair. Thanks, Mia. So those offers are provided via, the, you can have a look at the two columns on the right there, Extended Hardware Service Plus um, is the next business day replacement and Extended Hardware Service Plus with on-site is next business day on-site repair. So I'll just spend a couple of minutes talking to those two offers. Both of these offers include drive retention, and that's to enable our business customers to have control over their data privacy and security. So um, with these offers, that just enables you to retain your hard drive um, uh, when you have a servicing event. Um, the first offer, Extended Hardware Service Plus. So um, in uh, for uh, customers in Australia and New Zealand, this provides customers with a more affordable way to obtain a next business day delivery of a replacement device. So this service isn't new for Microsoft. We've been doing it for a while, um, but it's only been available via our, most ex our highest um, our, our most expensive protection plan that also includes accidental damage. So for customers that don't need that accidental damage coverage, you can now purchase um, next business day replacement um, in a, as I said, in a more affordable way. Um, that's available for all our current gen devices as well as our new Surface Laptop 5 and Surface Pro 9 devices. And then um, we're very excited to have announced um, the global launch of um, on-site repair for Australia. It's available for our new Surface Laptop 5 and Surface Pro 9 devices that are now fully repairable in the field. Um, this offer um, uh, essentially um, uh, triggers um, the um, availability of a Unisys technician to come on site and service your devices the next business day or up to two business days, depending, of course, on where your postcode um, is, your, your postcode is located. Um, as I said, it also includes drive retention, giving you the ability to um, uh, have control over your data security needs. Um, if, if for some reason we cannot repair, the Unisys technician cannot repair the device on site, then we also have included in that plan um, the next business day replacement as the default, ensuring that we can really get you, um, your employee up and running as fast as possible. Um, next, next slide, thanks Mia. And this is just showing the, um, the lineup of all of our devices um, for our commercial customers so that you can see the two new, um, the two new offers that were added in the middle there for, with next business day servicing, as well as our complete for business and complete for business plus plans. Thanks Mia. And in Australia, we're very focused as is data three on the education market. So I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to highlight the new plans that we've released for education. Um, hopefully if it's for education customers on the call, you would have heard that aligned to the new insurance laws that are um, operating in Australia, Microsoft has released two new plans, complete for students and complete for schools. I'm not gonna go into those in depth today, um, apart from saying that we now need to take a more targeted approach to the way that we sell um, insurance plans to education audiences. So if you are purchasing um, Surface devices where you as the school or the university are owning those outright, you'd be looking at the Complete for Schools plan. Um, if you're an organisation with a BYOD model where essentially you want insurance for devices that are being purchased by consumers, you'd be looking at the Complete for Students plan and Data3 um, is your go-to point that can take you through all of those plans. Just letting you know that the new Next Business Day plans, we've extended those to our education customers as well. Um, Mia, if you just want to jump to the next slide, thanks. This is um, just showing you 
the range of plans available for institution purchases. So you would be looking at if you wanted accidental damage, you'd be looking at complete for schools and you would also be, avail uh, be able to take advantage of the next business day replacement or next business day on site repair um, offers as well. And then just finally, as I mentioned, um, that uh, we also in Australia have this BYOD model, which in the la in the um, eyes of the Australian government now, if you're looking at insurance purchases, essentially that means that we're under the BYOD model, we're selling insurance to individuals, to consumers. So we needed a particular plan um, that meets the needs of that audience. So that's complete for students. Um, and for that audience, um, the next business day um, replacement offer is also available. We haven't made the next business day on site repair available because that opens, as you could imagine, that opens up a can of worms in terms of, um, uh, you know, having a Unisys technician on site at a, at a consumer's home. So, um, uh, you know, for that reason, this is the lineup of plans. Um, so that's a really just a really quick tour um, of all the new offers that Microsoft has made available. Um, and uh, Data3 um, as your um, partner um, is fully across all of these plans and is your go-to point. And I'll hand back to the Data3 team. Thank you so much for that, Susan. Um, hi everyone, um, I am Mia and I will be going over the Surface Accessories range that enhances, if not completes, the Surface experience. First, um, let's go through what we currently have. So we have a range of Surface pens to cover all requirements as well as our Surface style that allows you to interact with technology to create the most natural and immersive way to customize, access and navigate through your work. The Surface Type Covers transforms the two-in-one device from tablet to laptops, and there are also a range of external keyboards to suit your typing needs. I love that Surface has a good range of mouse on offer. We have trouble-friendly arc mouses to ergonomic mouses for that position point. There's also a wide range of adapters and docking solutions that is designed to improve productivity with your Surface device. Now, if you remember from our last session, Microsoft introduced these team certified headsets. First, we have the Surface Headphones 2 Plus. Now, this is um, comes with a USB connector that allows you to instantly plug and play. The, the USB connector also provides a longer range. This one has over 13 levels of noise cancelling, so this is your heavy duty headphones. Next, we have the modern wireless headset. This is actually my favorite and it fits comfortably over the ears for that all day wear and I can raise the boom mic to mute and pull down to unmute. The USB connector light will also indicate red when it's on mute. Next, we have the Microsoft Modern um, USB headsets, some preferred wire headsets, and we also have that on offer in both USB-A and USB-C. So this way you can plug it straight into your Surface devices without an adapter. Microsoft Modern Webcam, this is perfect for mounting on external monitors or on a tripod, and you can easily slide the privacy shutter to close. Um, and then we have the USB speaker, which is the best companion for reliable and high quality audio during Teams meetings. It's also great for playing tunes as well. Um, the next one, the next two you'll see is actually our uh, new devices that we've launched, the Microsoft Audio Dock and the Microsoft Presenter, which I'll go into more details. Okay, so this is the Microsoft Audio Dock. This is the all-in-one speakerphone dock and power supply for that flexible workspace. This will simply declutter your desk setup with a compact hub that sits neatly and has multiple connector ports. So you'll see it has a HDMI, two USB-Cs and one USB-A port that connects up to four accessories, including your monitor, plus the power pass through to, ch to charge your Surface device. It also has a dual forward facing microphones to capture voice, but not the background noise. It also has the omnisonic speakers that provide premium multi-dimensional audio quality and is compatible with all the apps I use today. Next one is the presenter, uh, Microsoft Presenter Plus. And this way you can confident, confidently deliver engaging presentations and can be used during meetings or in person or online. The front and back buttons will effortlessly advance slides forward and back, 
and then you've got the little star button that will shoot out a virtual laser that can help audience focus attention on the key content that presented on the screen. You can quickly join meetings with the Teams buttons and also the microphone button, make sure that you're not talking to yourself. So Microsoft feels um, that it's crucial that everyone feels included and it's and they are and we are very proud that the technological strides that Microsoft has taken towards making Surface supremely adaptable and accessible. So earlier this year, they have launched the Surface Adaptive Kit, um, which basically lets users um, augment traditional keyboards with their own custom setup um, of wireless buttons and wired switches. Now, Microsoft um, also now introduced um, the adaptive accessories, which basically can provide um, to customize all the accessories to suit their needs, whether it's um, the mouse or a tail or thumb support. Um, they also have adaptive hubs and buttons. And now they also have 3D printed grips for the Microsoft Business Pen or Classroom Pen, because we know that everyone likes to hold their pens differently, whether you need a bigger grip or a a longer arm. Um, Microsoft has made sure that everyone feels included. So Microsoft have partnered with a range of um, third party uh, suppliers to complement the Surface Accessories range. So I'll go through that quickly now. First one is Panzerglass and they have a range of really high quality um, screen protectors as well as privacy glass. And one of my favorite thing is the antibacterial screen cleaner, which I use on the daily. STM um, has a range of design for surface rugged cases. As you can see, they also have very stylish and functional bags. Kensington um, has a range of accessories like docking stations, um, device locks, and they're also designed for surface. And the one in the middle here has won awards for the unique design, basically turning our Surface Pro into like a mini studio. Targus also provides a huge range of um, design for surface cases, sleeves and bags, as well as docking stations, adapters that are all compatible with the surface device. So Joy Factory specializes in healthcare accessories. Um, as you can see here, um, they also do um, uh, manufacturing and warehouse as well. So in summary, you're probably dying to know why Data3. Well, we have a national dedicated Microsoft Surface specialist team. So you have Sam, Angela, and myself who are dedicated and help enable our customer success through digital content, training, roadmap presentations, and some technical advice in relation to the device selection. We are also um, a recently won the Global Microsoft Device Reseller Partner of 2022 and the Global Microsoft Surface Plus Partner. So well, the Surface Plus Partner Award recognizes the Surface Partner that has brought the best of Microsoft together by pairing the PC or hub with the Microsoft Modern Solutions. We also offer a tailored DAS solution that provides um, a managed and predictable cost structure over the full end user compute lifecycle. As well as one, not one, not two, but three warehouses in Australia, and we are renowned for our capabilities in warehousing and integration services. So we can assist many customers by holding, managing, replenish devices and buffer stock to mitigate global component constraints. So Data3 and Microsoft act as one and have a long-standing trusted partnership since 2001. And we are so privileged to have um, some of actually numerous experts um, in their fields covering Azure, threat protection, modern work. And we are also Microsoft's largest Australian partner across three clouds. I also wanted to point out that we have over 140 certified staff. So there's always someone here to help. We also understand that changing or transitioning can be very daunting. So to further help support you and your modern deployment and modern management journey, Data3 offers Deploy Assist programs. Now these are funded programs that work to maximize your benefit when investing to surface devices and modernizing your environment. So we cover these five key areas. First, we have M365 Accelerate deployment basically where we will work with your IT department to test the environment before deployment. And this can also cover some hands-on help 
and guidance during the Surface deployment. Surface training adoption is one of our most popular area where we can do some virtual or in-person training for your end users, and we have found that super um, popular, but also effective so that your end users are getting the most out of their device. We also have a modern um, meetings where it's also a proof of concept around teams and the power of teams. As we can see that, you know, more and more uh, organizations are transitioning into using Teams. Um, the next one is Teams meeting room devices. So this is basically covering um, all Teams uh, room devices, including the Surface Hubs. And this could also be a proof of concept or a um, pilot option for any change adoption. And then last but not least is our managed service, uh, managed security services, where our security experts will work with your IT department to assess and plan the best security system for your organization. As we know, this is very key point in everyone's mind at the moment. So in summary, Data3 and Microsoft um, have acted as one and with a long-standing trusted partnership. And we also have many years of experience in delivering end user compute projects in to all our clients of all sizes, industry sectors, types, as, um, as well as aiding in modernization. Surface product family is a range of premium devices. Um, they're designed for user to securely and effectively get the most out of technology. And we can also help you on your modern and provisioning uh, management journey via our deploy assist programs using our strongly developed security and services capabilities. We can also arrange a specialized one on one session with you and your team so we can deep dive into a topic or project that you're planning or working on at the moment. Please also feel free to scan the QR code um, on screen here to visit our knowledge, our knowledge center for more surface specific content from Data3. Now I'm going to hand over back to Angelo um, as we'll be going into the quiz. Sorry, this is the exciting part. Yes, so um, yeah, join us on the Slido quiz uh, by scanning the QR code, which will come up next. Um, there'll be some questions there, about five, I think. You've got 10 seconds to answer them. The first one to answer will win the prize. So it's fast as fingers. So you can either join by on your phone, mobile device by scanning the QR code or logging onto slido.com and entering the code number to register. So. Please log on and uh, we'll get the quiz started soon. Sure, Kerry, have you got? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see there's a couple of people joining, so we might give everyone sort of 30 more seconds. So if you p just join using that QR code, pop your full name in there. Um, I can see there's a um, few people on already. And then we'll get started. Right, we might kick off anyway for those that have joined. Better chance of, of um, winning that prize. So I'll kick it off, Angelo, um, and if you're happy to read out the questions. So here we go. OK, so the first question is, um, how many certified Microsoft Teams headsets are there in the Microsoft range? Great, the answer is. Three. Looks like we had a good good response there. Excellent. Next question. So the next question is, uh, which wireless range of my of Microsoft? Uh, what's the wireless range of the Microsoft Presenter Plus? We've got four answers there. That one was a little bit more tricky. Yep. The next question. So yeah, the, the answer was 10 meters. So how many surface devices are now on site repairable?
right? And the answer of that was three. Okay, every surface will manufacture um, will be 100% recyclable by which year? Excellent. I will display the correct answer and then um, show the leaderboard and see who's who came out on top. All right. Looks like Nick, you are the winner of the quiz. Congratulations. Delicious. Three out of four questions correct and definitely fastest finger first there. So we'll be in touch, Nick. Um, the team will get in touch with you to deliver your prize to you. Thanks for joining the quiz, guys. Thanks, Dean. Back to you we'll, to do a little wrap up. Yeah, thanks, Kerry. So, a team, um, thanks very much for an excellent and informative presentation. I, just unmuting my mic for live because I think I did it in Teams. So, apologies about that. Thank you, team, for an informative presentation. Uh, we've been remote now for two or three years, and you think I would have had this sorted out with microphones, but anyway, it happens. So, thanks, team, for an informative presentation. Um, congratulations on winning that excellent device, uh, Nick. So, I'm, I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Uh, again, I do encourage you to register for those other sessions. So, um, jump back onto the registration site. There's going to be some great sessions coming up around modern management, security, collaboration and also device as a service. So there's a lot more excellent content about coming up. So with that, um, if you've got any uh, further questions, reach out to the team there, you've got the contact details. Um, and uh, thank you again for your time. We'll see you at the next session. Thanks, everyone.